Good evening. My name is Ashley Fulmer and I'm the Science Coordinator for the Riverside Unified School District. On behalf of Riverside Unified's Board of Education and Superintendent Ms. Renee Hill, we would like to welcome our amazing young scientists and engineers, their families and community members to the 21-22 Science and Engineering Fair Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we'll be honoring our participants and awarding our gold, silver, and bronze medal winners, as well as announcing our UCR-sponsored awards. I would like to give a special thank you to all of the parents, families, teachers, and coordinators for supporting these students. I would also like to thank all of the judges for the hard work that went into judging each and every one of the projects virtually. At this time, I'd like to invite our board president, Mr. Brent Lee, to say a few words. Hello, my name is Brent Lee, president of the RUSD Board of Education. And on behalf of the board, I wanna welcome our students, our families, and staff members tonight. Thank you to the UCR College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences and the Bournes College of Engineering, who have partnered with RUSD's Science and Engineering Fair for more than 25 years, providing over 50 judges annually. This year, we have students from kindergarten to 12th grade who competed virtually. These students have spent countless hours pursuing questions, thinking creatively and critically, collaborating, communicating, and problem solving as real scientists and engineers. And a very special thank you to all the families and teachers for supporting these students with their endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Lee. We will now begin the presentation of awards for our primary division which is our kindergarten through third grade students. We will be awarding two bronze, silver, and gold medals. For bronze, testing proprioception by Araya Chitwood, Washington Elementary. Shower vs. Bath, Noah Quinto, Lake Matthews Elementary. Our silver medal winners, Pump Up the Sound Waves, Brianne Orne, Lake Matthews Elementary. Maglev, No Wheels, No Problem, Jay Hakamaki, Rivera Elementary. And our gold medal winners, What Materials Can Block a Wi-Fi Signal, Rose DeGrella, Lake Matthews Elementary, and a flu shot or a nasal spray, What Does a Third Grader Think, Grace Linwood, Rivera Elementary. Next, we will announce the winners for our elementary division, which is our fourth and fifth grade students. For this division, students that receive a gold medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. Our first category is Animal and Plant Sciences. Our bronze medal winner is Tomatoes by Eva Acharya, Joanna Gauch, and Olivia Gonzalez from Franklin Elementary. Our silver medal winner, will an ant go to a natural lemon or processed sugar? Liliana Lizarraga from Lake Matthews Elementary. And our gold winner, How Light Spectrum Affects Plant Growth, Max Gowdy, Kennedy Elementary. Our next category is Behavioral Health and Medical Sciences. Our silver winner is the difference between adrenaline response to interactive and passive experiences in VR and on TV, Kieran Hobbs, Riverside Virtual School. And our gold medal winner, which mask is the most efficient Callum Ashby, Kennedy Elementary. Our next category is Engineering. For Bronze, WR Robot by Adam Ayad, Castleview Elementary. Our Silver winner, Lego Tower, Paxton Chitwood, Washington Elementary. And our Gold, The Strongest Bridge, Julia Messenger, Twain Elementary. Our next category is Earth, Planetary and Environmental Sciences. For silver, can a solar panel be charged by artificial light? Victor Peralta, Harrison Elementary. And our gold, pollution problems by Jack Grover, Kennedy Elementary. Our next category is physics and astronomy. For bronze, how do aerodynamics, weight, and the ramp's height affect the Hot Wheels car speed? By Roy DeGrella, Lake Matthews Elementary. Silver, Four Degrees of Magnetism, Evan Edwards, Twain Elementary. And our gold, Strength and Wi-Fi Signals by Ian Orne, Lake Matthews Elementary. We will now move into our UCR sponsored awards. Hello, my name's Andy Gray. I'm an assistant professor of watershed hydrology in the Department of Environmental Sciences at University of California, Davis. 
The Department of Environmental Sciences includes scientists that study all aspects of the environment, from uh, hydrologists like myself who study water, to atmospheric scientists, environmental chemists, and toxicologists as well. And so we love being involved in the uh, RUSD Science and Engineering Fair, and we're particularly interested in any projects that involve anything to do with the environment. And this year, uh, myself and, and my committee of judges, uh, graduate students Michael Rodriguez and Ben Maki, were really happy to uh, award the following three awards, one for each division um, for some excellent projects that we saw. So the first award that we'd like to give out in the elementary division uh, for the project entitled Pollution Problems goes to student Jack Grover. He's a fourth grader from Kennedy Elementary and we were really, really impressed with his work. Great job, Jack. Our second award in the junior division for the project titled Stop the Slide by Lucy Quinto, a sixth grader from Lake Matthews Elementary. Also excellent work. And finally, for the senior division, the award goes to the author of the project, Creating a Sustainable Recycling Program at STEM High School, goes to Adwoa Apia Botang. She's a, a senior at Riverside STEM High School. And so I should note that each uh, recipient of a Department of Environmental Sciences award will receive a certificate and then also a gift certificate to target $25 to our elementary division winner, $50 to our junior division winner, and $100 to our senior division winner. Again, congratulations to all the winners and congratulations to all of you for pulling together such uh, interesting and involved projects during this challenging time. Thanks again. Hi everyone, I'm Patty Springer. I'm chair of the Botany and Plant Sciences Department at UC Riverside. Um, our judges really enjoyed viewing the science fair projects this year. Um, they thought that all the participants did a really great job and you should all be really proud of your accomplishments. Um, that said, um, we were especially interested in, in looking at the plant sciences um, projects and we have some awards to give. So in the junior division, um, the judges were really impressed with Hank Jennings project. Um, he did a project um, studying the interaction of native plants and weed, weedy species seed germination. Um, and the judges really thought he did a great job. So congratulations, Hank. And in the senior division, we have uh, two awards to give. Um, William Liu. Um, William tested the impact of plant hormones on cold tolerance in basil. Um, this is a project I'm really interested in because I, I would certainly like to have uh, basil growing in my garden year round. Um, so congratulations, William. And the second award winner in the senior division is Aishan Gunahal. Um, Aishan has, is, a, is a repeat award winner. Um, he, we gave him an award a couple of years ago in the junior division. He's had a long-standing project um, looking at cell signaling in the meristem and um, trying to um, use this knowledge to generate um, information that can eventually uh, help for, help crop improvement. So each award winner will um, receive a, a printed certificate achievement um, certificate of achievement and um, also an Amazon gift certificate. And so uh, we'll work to get those delivered to you. Congratulations, everybody. And I really hope that I'll see you all next year in person. All right, hi, my name is Annika Rose Pearson. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of California, Riverside, and I'm representing the Department of Evolution, Ecology and Organismal Biology. So today I'm gonna to be announcing some of um, our awards to students who participated in the science fair. Um, so our first award is going to Maximilian Goody, who did their project on how light spectrum affects plant growth. So Maximilian is our elementary prize winner for this project. They made super good use of the primary literature to frame their research questions and hypotheses. This was a sophisticated experiment that endeavored to find out how blue and red spectrum light affected plant growth. Uh, they found that blue spectrum light is purported to promote photosynthesis and plant growth, whereas red spectrum light is purported to support and promote flowering. Maximilian set up two boxes, one with blue and one with red spectrum light, and then grew marigold plants under the two different conditions. 
Their projects showed great attention to experimental design and did a really good job of synthesizing the scientific literature, research question and hypothesis formulation and linking results to conclusions. Okay, so our, our next winner is um, in the junior section, and that would be Hank Jennings. And their project was on nature's weed repellents, which species of native plants inhibit the germination of other species. So this project tested whether California native plants can exhibit allelopathy, which is the chemical inhibition of one plant by another by acting to suppress the germination or growth of that other plant. So the motivation for this study was to identify possible alternatives to poisonous herbicides for weeds. This is a very well researched and meticulously executed study. Hank collected leaves from 20 different native species, enclosed them with radish seeds that were placed between moistened sheets of paper, observed the germination rate of radish seeds in each treatment, and compared them with control. They conducted statistical analyses to identify two species as standouts for possible germination suppression. And this is an excellent study that was founded on the literature. It showed careful attention to detail in the experimental design and, conduct, and the researcher conducted st sophisticated statistical tests to analyze their results and make conclusions. It also showed a clear connection to societal benefit. So our next junior award winner was Lucy Quinto, who did their project on Stop the Slide. So this project tested which of six plant species are best at preventing soil erosion. Lucy developed a thorough experimental setup wherein they planted six ground cover plant species, watered them, and then measured the amount of soil lost from each of the plant's pots. Lucy showed a great understanding of the importance of soil erosion to human well-being. And further, we were impressed by Lucy's understanding of potential mechanisms driving the patterns that they found and by their suggestion to plant multiple species with different root lengths together. Finally, in suggesting multiple ways to improve the experimental design in the future, Lucy demonstrated a thorough understanding of plant biology and also the underground processes that affect soil erosion. Okay, so in the senior category, our first award is going to Jack Jennings on their project on the effect of artificial temperature control on the health and productivity of Apis mellifera hives. So this project looked at two different artificial cooling methods of beehives. The overheating of beehives can lead to bee colony collapse, which can have devastating effects on bee pollinated agriculture and biodiversity. This project was a Herculean effort that required a huge amount of training and preparation to execute, a good understanding of complex data collection and analysis and the ability to handle bees and collect pollen, all in the searing Southern California summer. This project showed that artificial cooling of beehives can indeed promote the health and productivity of beehives and therefore has significant benefits to humans. This is a very sophisticated project that we all believed is worthy of publication. And we are also giving a special enthusiastic ecologist award to Max Miller for their project on the Great Spider Census of 2021. The judges were very impressed with Max's clear passion for their subject species and for repeating a census of black widow and brown recluse spiders that was initially con conducted in 2012. Studies like these are vital for setting baselines from which we can identify trends and formulate ecological hypotheses. Max demonstrated great dedication and painstaking care in conducting this new census, and we encourage them to keep the enthusiasm and passion alive and continue to make new discoveries to shed light on these spiders' behaviors and the mechanisms that control their distributions and events. Hello, my name is Haley Cabrera. I'm a PhD student from UCR in the Department of Ecology, Evolution, and Organismal Biology. Brian Kirstein is one of our winners for the, C for the senior project C. elegans as a model organism for Parkinson's disease. This project used a behavioral assay and gene knockout techniques to test whether the PDR1 gene is associated with Parkinson's in humans. The judges were very impressed with this sophisticated project and the students' enthusiasm to learn and help contribute to the growing research on Parkinson's disease in humans. Hello, everyone. My name is Connie Nugent, and I am a professor as well as Divisional Dean for Student Academic Affairs in the College of Agricultural and Natural Sciences at the University of California, Riverside. It was my great pleasure to be able to help judge the science fairs for RUSD. Our team of judges 
really enjoyed all of the time and effort that everyone put into their projects. I heard back from our judges on how rewarding it was to see the creativity, thought, and work that so many of our students put into their projects. As many of them said, our future looks really bright with students like you in the district. So now let's get down to business. I'm going to be announcing three awards, one at each level, and then an honorable mention at each level too. So we'll start off at the senior division. It's our great pleasure to announce our top prize to Jack Jennings for the effect of artificial temperature control on the health and productivity of Apis mellifera hives. In other words, with climate change, can you put ice in to help cool down the hives and look and see if that helps them? Anyway, it was a fabulous problem that he was addressing with really meticulous work, really um, deserving of our top prize. But I also want to mention um, among our many other great prizes, another that stood out was analyzing the effectiveness of inhibitors of dengue serotype two proteins through molecular docking by a group of students, Ishan Biswas, Anurag Patla, and Alexis Bullock. This is a really in-depth examination of an important problem. So great job to all of you. At the junior level, our top prize goes to Masks Up by Katherine Shaw. Again, this is a really timely <laughs> issue as we're all going through the pandemic. And she did a really thorough job of examining this problem with using really great scientific method. Our honorable mention goes to nature's weed repellents. Which species of native plants inhibit the germination of other species by Hank Jennings. Hank must have spent a huge amount of time doing this project. It was very thorough. At the elementary level, our top prize goes for a project entitled Maglev, No Wheels, No Problem, by Jay Hakomaki. I have to tell you, at the elementary level, and he's addressing a major problem, thinking about trains and magnets. He has a great sense for the scientific method. This was a really well done project. And our honorable mention at the elementary level was, what materials can block a Wi-Fi signal by Rose DeGrella. Awesome projects, all of you. Congratulations. The big question is, what do you win? You guys will all be receiving our really great College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences t-shirts and, of course, an acrylic trophy prize and a gift certificate. So great job, everyone. I can't wait to see what you all are going to be doing next. Thank you. Thank you again to all of our UCR judges for your thoughtful deliberation of each and every one of our projects. Our next division is the junior division, which is our sixth through eighth grade students. Students that receive a gold medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. Our first category is animal and plant sciences. Bronze goes to impact of pollution on aquatic plants by Jacob Orne, Lake Matthews Elementary. Our silver, how do human vitamins affect radish and lima bean plants? Tyler Hiroka and Nora Shanta from Gage Middle School. And our gold, nature's weed repellents, which species of native plants inhibit the germination of other species? Hank Jennings, Earhart Middle School. Our next category is behavioral health and medical sciences. For bronze, the correlation between the amount of bacteria found on common surfaces and the accuracy of our assumptions, Amanda Gibson, Gage Middle School. Silver, testing mask effectiveness against aerosolized particles 
Samir Ranji, Miller Middle School. Anar Gold, Mass Up, Catherine Shaw, Miller Middle School. For chemistry and biochemistry, our bronze goes to electrolysis and water, Alex Leach, Nebo Nupain from Kennedy Elementary. Our silver goes to Will the Kidney Preserve, Sayari Albrecht, Miller Middle School. And the gold, citrus, which has more vitamin C, Anastasia Neimeyer, Miller Middle School. Our next category is engineering. Our bronze medal winner is concrete, stability underwater, Bradley Ballantyne, Gage Middle School. Silver, which metal is the most magnetic? Can magnetic force be used for clean energy and sustainable resources? Vincent Solis, Gage Middle School. And our gold, how much electromagnetic radiation are we exposed to? Elizabeth Estioko, Lake Matthews Elementary. Next, we have environmental sciences and management. Our silver medal winner is water conservation in a sustainable home. Alexis Meadows, Miller Middle School. And our gold, stop the slide, Lucy Quinto, Lake Matthews Elementary. For physics and astronomy, our bronze goes to folding light, Jerry Valle, Gage Middle School. Silver, melting ice, Cadence Chitwood, Washington Elementary. And our gold, achieving neutral buoyancy, Matthew Wilson, Gage Middle School. Our last division is our senior division, which is our ninth through 12th grade students. Students that receive a silver and gold medal will be moving on to the Riverside County Science and Engineering Fair competition. Our first category, animal sciences. Our silver goes to the Great Spider Census, 2021 Max Miller from STEM High School. And the gold goes to the effect of artificial temperature control on the health and productivity of Apis mellifera hives, Jack Jennings, King High School. Our next category, which was our largest category, is behavioral and social sciences. Our bronze goes to the cognitive dissonance in math and gender, Layla Benson, STEM High School. Our silver, examining the issue of current digital learning methods utilized during the COVID-19 pandemic, Sean Summers, STEM High School. Another silver, the power of words, Allison Fan, STEM High School. We have another silver, exercise or mindfulness, which affects our happiness more effectively, Carter Keyworth, STEM High School. Silver, the effects of poverty on a student's education, Isaac Bedoy, James Savage, STEM High School. Another silver medal, how Gen Z view mental illness, Rommel and Bob and Bell Langer, STEM High School. Silver, does the dress code serve the purpose it was designed for? Ella McConnell, Ramona High School. Our gold for this category, an analysis of sleep, chronotype and mental and physical health. Leanna Beasley, Eliza Bryson and Sunny Lee from King High School. Our other gold medal for this category, is the effects of perceived child competence on a mother's emotions, expectation manipulation. Tanaya Jog, King High School. Our next category is biochemistry. Our bronze winner is analyzing the effectiveness of inhibitors of dengue stereotype two, proteins through molecular docking, Ishan Biswas, Alexis Bullock, and Anurag Patla, King High School. Our silver medal win winner, Say Kim Chi, Ellen Mueng, and Carissa Nguyen, North High School. Gold, using photocleavable linkers in multiplex immunostaining to increase the number of quantifiable proteins in a cell. Isaac Herr, Moises Herr, King High School. Our next category is cellular, molecular, and microbiology. Our silver winner, is nanoparticles and the protein, Corona, Emily Liu, STEM High School. Our gold medal winner, C. elegans as a model organism for Parkinson's disease, Brian Pearlstein, STEM High School. 
The next category is chemistry, and our silver medal winner is salt effects on the electrical conductivity of solutions, Oliver Cron, North High School. Our gold medal winner is an analysis of the effects of different chemical groups on pyranoanthocyanin efficiency in a dye synthesized solar cells, Keyshawn Talati and Madeline Wilson, King High School. Our next category is computational biology and bioinformatics. Our bronze medal goes to analyzing cellular senescence or aging through variations of DDS and resulting concentrations of tumor suppressor proteins within a computational mammalian cell mo cycle model, Juliana Lee, King High School. Our silver medal goes to prediction and analysis of binding regions for the Wuxian transcription factor in Arabidopsis Than Liana and Zaya Mays, Shreyesh Goli and Pranav Radhak Rishnan, King High School. Our gold goes to analysis of motion artifact and OCT data in rat seizure model, Odera Arene, King High School. Our next category is engineering, robotics, and intelligent machines. Bronze goes to degradation and mineralization of plastic, Michael Collin, STEM High School. Silver, Research and development of single crystal, all solid state lithium ion batteries, Russell Rawlings, King High School. And the gold goes to engineering a beach cleaning robot, Joseph Dadlas, King High School. Our next category, environmental sciences and management. Our bronze, the effects of pollution on the Santa Ana River, Alexandria Herrera, STEM High School. Silver, how can we encourage and create our campus culture to properly recycle? Nazmi Salema, STEM High School. Gold, creating a sustainable recycling program at STEM High School. Adwa Apaya Botning, STEM High School. Our next category is physics, astronomy, and embedded systems. Silver goes to improved automatic measurement of quasar distance for high redshifts. Rafael Rosales and Emma Shaw, King High School. And the gold, developing an independent and decentralized wireless mesh communication network as an alternative method of data transmission, Jonathan Kim, King High School. Next, we have plant sciences. For silver, frigid and cold, testing the effects of various phytohormones in producing cold hardiness in basil plants. William Liu, STEM High School. And the gold, stimulate to innovate, cell signaling simulations of stem cell mutants with enhanced transcription factor binding to optimize crop productivity, Ishan Ganahal, King High School. Our next category is system software and mathematics. For bronze, a rust fluid simulation library, Rudabon Roy Chowdhury, STEM High School. For silver, comparing the efficiency, accuracy, and viability of machine learning malware identification models, Daniel Link and Andrew Yin, King High School. And our gold, machine learning assisted telemedicine platform, Ethan G, King High School. That concludes this evening's Science and Engineering Fair Awards Night. Thank you again to all of our students, teachers, parents, family members, coordinators, and our judges. Have a great evening. Thank you.